So we've been talking about American comic books and manga quite a bit on the channel over the past couple of weeks. And a lot of that has to do with a couple of things. Number one, the entire North American graphic novel sales for adults are made up of manga now, (laughs) which is kind of funny if you think about it, especially when My Hero Academia makes up a large percentage of the sales in North America. And the fact that, I mean, that whole series is about superheroes. It's basically the sales that Marvel and DC should want. And you'd think that they'd be looking at that at that genre and be saying like, what are, what are we doing here? What, what are we doing wrong? We should be, we should be capturing those people and, and getting them into our books. But instead they continue to do two things, get political and tell fans to F off. You saw that with Jerry Conway, where he was calling out fans of anime and manga and talking about how they're, disgusting people who like disgusting things. I did like two videos on that guy because he kept coming out and talking about an area that he really has no business talking about. He got roasted pretty hard. And the other good example is the creator of, well, at least the run that the new Suicide Squad movie is based on. Uh, He's basically coming out and saying that everybody should be on Taifa. This is what he puts out, I think, over on Instagram puts this out okay that's basically telling you know a lot of your audience to go away but they've been doing that forever they've been doing that forever this isn't the complete point of the video i just want to start this way to show you like this is one of the problems with the comic book market and why it really shouldn't surprise you when because we talked about the quality of these books very few of them are, are really good a lot of the stuff that comes out of the big two are bad And you're seeing that right now. Uh, This has been floating around. I talked about this a little bit a while ago, and now people are actually putting things together a little bit more. Demon Slayer manga outsells entire U.S. comics industry. And that's really funny. Now, this is, of course, taking into account the Japanese market, not just the North American market. We're looking at, I think, global sales. So Demon Slayer has been an international phenomenon as of February this year. They had an estimated sales total of 2.6 billion in Japan alone, roughly 150 million units sold. This is a lot higher than current American comic book estimates, which is around 15 million units sold. Pretty pathetic. Uh, you got this uh, article right here talking about it as well. They say Demon Slayer has sold 100 million copies, while American comic books altogether have sold 15 million units. Keep in mind that they are also counting the manga that is being sold in America. That means that the number of comic books sold themselves are much lower. lower. Pretty uh, pretty crazy that this property is selling. Now, the last time I talked about this, there was a little bit of clap back. People would give a lot of excuses. Well, you know, the Japanese market is cheap. It's cheaper for these and it's everywhere and people more used to it. And all this stuff. And it's like, does, well, does that really distract from the point that it actually did outsell the comic book industry? Which is pretty damn funny, if you think about it. Now, I'm sure that this is very complicated, but there's enough people talking about it. This article right here is trying to run a little bit of damage control, but they do admit it in here. This is from comicbook.com. They ask, uh, now the question is being asked whether Demon Slayer really outsold the entire comic industry stateside last year. And the answer to that question, well, it's not clear at the moment. If sales trends in the U.S. remained untouched in 2020, the truth would lead fans to a tie. But there is a slight issue of the COOF lockdown to consider. Let's investigate, shall we? There is no doubt that 2020 put a major bust in industries globally in light of the COOF. This was no different for manga or comic books, but production delays with the former were solved rather quickly. According to financial reports and various sales charts, manga exploded in popularity in 2020 with major gains year over year, despite the coup. In Japan, this boost was all thanks to Demon Slayer, but those same stats aren't clear in the United States. Now, this is a really good point. Comics... 
didn't really sell that well during the coup year of 2020. But manga actually saw a huge increase in sales. People were just, okay, this is the time to sit down and read some stuff. They were going to this. Uh, I'm not here to argue just why and how popular is more, or how manga is more popular than comics right now. We're just here to laugh at how terrible comics have, you know, become in the shape of the industry because they really did it to themselves. They really did it to themselves. I don't like my politics. Don't buy my book. Problem solved. Well, it would seem that they did solve that problem for you, Kelly Sue DeConnick. At best, we can assume no change in trends happened in comics this past year, despite the coup. In that case, total units sold in 2019 numbered 83.2 million after dropping 1.2 million year over year. If that exact same scenario repeated in 2020, there were roughly 82 million comics sold in 2020, regardless of distributor at the absolute best. They're, of course, referring to Diamond being closed down. A lot of, sh- a lot of stuff did happen with that. You had DC Comics pick up a new distributor. You have Marvel Comics. I don't remember who they jumped on, but they ditched Diamond as well. Diamond Comics is gone, which is why we have trouble tackling the comic book industry numbers now because the way that they're tracked has changed. Now they say, now let's compare that figure to Demon Slayer. This one series alone is published through Shueisha, who keeps records of sales from each region distributor. This means we know exactly how many copies of the manga were sold in 2020, and it's a lot. 82.34 million copies of Demon Slayer sold last year. This figure does outperform the best case estimate of the U.S. comics industry, and that is nuts in and out of itself. Now, it's only a slight margin. You got to remember, this is this is a best estimate. 83.2 million is what they gave it. And that's taking into account that let's just say in 2020 things sold normally like they like they did, which they probably didn't. I'm sure it was much low, like much much lower. But that means even during that coup year, 82.34 million were sold of Demon Slayer. That does still put it at a slight edge over (laughs) the 2019 numbers. And that is pretty damn embarrassing. That's embarrassing. One title outsold the entire industry. What a joke. That's a complete joke. And if you really want to get technical, let's combine all of the numbers, right? And uh, that would really make it look twice. That'd make it look triple bad. So I, this is really telling, and this should worry people in the comic book industry, which is why I think you're starting to see them like kind of get worried. You've got Jerry Conroy, Conroy coming out and, and trashing manga and anime girls and, and fans of them. You've got a lot of these pros running around. This is why when they celebrate comic book numbers in North America, I laugh because they're promoting, <laughs> they're promoting manga numbers, and to an extent, young adult novels like Dog Man and stuff like that. Uh, it's not their stuff, so it's just funny to me when they celebrate this stuff because it's like, like I've said in a previous video, you're celebrating a rival's numbers. Like, you're not gonna go work in Japan. They already have talent there that works a lot harder and doesn't whine and tell customers to f off and give them the finger. Uh, you would not make it there. So, you know, I don't really know what your, your points are when you share those numbers. You're just sharing the success of My Hero Academia and Demon Slayer and so on and so on. So uh, crazy to see this broken down like this. Really, really good stuff here. Anyway, that's it. Let me know why you think all of this is going on. Why did Demon Slayer outsell everything? What is so great about Demon Slayer? Why do you love it? Tell me in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, There's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.